hello and welcome back to another sql tutorial this is video number 25 25th video of the series and if you really want to benefit from this series you will have to watch all videos in sequence they are all available on youtube and also on the website which is visible on top right corner of the screen so we have uh, three selected statement written in front of us and the result of this statement is in front of you as well as the table we've got five database objects two views two tables and one sequence this table we're building our learning of sql with the help of this table emp table so we created a view with the help of a complex query uh, yesterday and let me show you the data control enter we have this table called emp table that shows the employee number, last name, first name, hire date, salary, commission, and department number. Now, we created a view to get a sum of salary plus commission uh, of the employees yesterday. And that view is G cell. And because the query was quite complex, so what we did, the query that we used to calculate the sum of salary plus commission from EMP table was quite complex and we thought that we'll have to use this uh, query in future so what we did we saved that query as a view and we now simply have to run this simple select statement instead of running the complex query so this view shows us employee number and gross income of oh, the employee and we also found out the maximum salary and then the name of the person who was earning maximum salary suppose you want to view this data with the help of one simple query so you want to see all these columns that are in employee table as well as another column here that you want to see a sum of salary plus commission in that column so the query is simple the statement is simple uh, you'll have to join two database objects these two database objects EMP table and G cell view so when you join two objects you have to use the name of the object and in our case the name of the object name of the table is EMP and then the first column that we want to see is EMP and O from EMP table EMP again and we want to see uh, last name or first name uh, let us change the order so we want to see F name from EMP table and then EMP table again and L name from EMP table comma is a separator I'll press enter because I don't have much space and let us ignore higher date EMP salary which is this column here comma EMP name of the table and then commission is the name of the column and EMP dot department number and then we also want to view a column from this this view so the name of the object is G cell and the name of the column in that view was G income and then from EMP which is the name of first database object and we have to write the name of the second database object which is G cell where clause because we are joining two database objects EMP EMP and O when you join two database objects you have to use where clause so we are joining on the basis of a common column that is found in both database objects employee table and the G cell both have this common column so G cell EMP and O semicolon and select this and we will run this hopefully there's no uh, typo mistake typographical mistake uh, and so you now have a set of data that is presented in front of you as if it was only one table and let's order this data according to the employee number as well so you have one employee number 1000 and then 1003 you can also use order by order by emp dot emp and o so you can run this again control enter 
and then the data is ordered by EMP number starting from 1000 to 1009 and you may want to save this query for future you may think that you'll need to run this query again and again to have a complete picture so again you can save it as a view if you want to there are many ways to you can save the query as well create view we can say EMP G cell which is a combination of this table and this view as then the and then rest of the query will run as it is so we'll run this again we created what you simply have to do now to look at the same data is to run this simple select statement EMP G cell run this sorry run this and you'll have the same result as if you were writing this whole query so we should now have six database objects we just created another view which is EMPG cell view. <clears throat> Thank you very much.